Scotty. It's me, the tallest male on earth. Um, I'm a heavy sleeper. I'm also pretty heavy awake. Um, I don't know. I, uh, you know, a diner is the only restaurant where the name of the restaurant and the name of the person who goes there are the same. <laughs> if Taco Bell was named that way, it would be called Sad Fat Alcoholic. <laughs> it's a new joke of mine, but I've done about $900 of research on it. So, um, yeah, I was, in a, I was in a bar a few weeks ago, in a beach bar, because I live by the sea. Jealous. Um, <laughs> you can get on the highway for free. It's awesome. Uh, no, it's a. Uh, I, I, I was in a beach bar and uh, I ordered a pina colada. Thought that was allowed, you know? I'm gonna get a lot of fruits in. <laughs> and the guy next to me goes, Pina colada? <laughs> what are you, gay? It, uh, it hurt my feelings. <laughs> it, it hurt my feelings because it took me 20 years to figure out I was bisexual, and it took him 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the first thing that your mom asks you uh, when you tell that you're bi is, oh, okay, per, 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 percentage, percentage-wise, um, which one can I round you up to? <laughs> like if there's a fire. I'm like, all right, mom, I'm a straight guy who sometimes does gay stuff, all right? I'm not, I'm not some homo who runs around kissing ladies. <laughs> but if there's a fire? <laughs> Gay. <laughs> I'm a heavy set man, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to have that firefighter lay me safe on the ground while my wife and kids burn up. <laughs> you guys react to that a lot. Sometimes I have to remind audiences I don't have a wife and kids anymore. Um, all right, cool. <laughs> Nailed it. This is why Quibi failed, Chris. Um, <laughs> My family's like environmentalists, like that's their big cause, you know? When my dad has a Nissan Leaf. It's like a Tesla, if you don't have a credit score. <laughs> my mom called me the other day and said my uncle has finally gotten his carbon footprint completely down to zero with a gun in his basement. That's not, that's not true either. We're having him cremated. <laughs> um, all right, all right. They did a... They did a study with uh, rats and cocaine. They got all the rats addicted to cocaine with, I don't know, little rat straws and <laughs> little girl alcoholic rats. <laughs> cool. I don't know. Um, but then they, got, then they got them all addicted to sugar. And they made the rats choose. There's like a door that said cocaine and rat. I don't know how they did the study, but they made... They're scientists, they know what they're doing. You know? Like, they made the rats choose between sugar and cocaine. And all the rats picked sugar. Wow. Yeah, you, you, want, you want more proof that uh, sugar's more addictive than cocaine? <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, I just got out of a relationship. You know, I got out of the relationship the same way you get out of a book club. I just stopped showing up. <laughs> Ghosting, yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's, you know, it, the, the person I was in a relationship with, um, some of you guys are going to learn a new word, couple, uh, so the, the person I was in a relationship with was a they, he, non-binary trans mask. Now, it's going to sound like a lot, but the most important thing you need to break away from that is it's complicated and pussy, <laughs> right? Um, and like, I, I don't know, like my, my friends don't get it. I'm like, I, they, don't, they don't get why I like these folks. I'm like, they don't. You know, it's, so what, what all those words basically mean is it's someone who's like born a woman, well, no, born a baby. Really born, a woman, uh, born a baby woman. And then they're trying to stop acting like a woman all the time. That's the goal, you know? All right, you guys cherish your wives and mothers, you know? <laughs> Um, okay. Anyway, it's not all. It's not all sunshine and roses. 
one time we were cuddling, and uh, he said to me, look at that, we're two men with boobs. <laughs> He's like, look at that, I'm out. <laughs> you can either say something like that or have an eating disorder, but not both. And I'm, I'm just saying that because like, I'm not the kind of guy who can be a good partner to someone with an eating disorder, you know? Because like, they have the kind of eating disorder where it's like, you know, they're going to not eat something for days at a time. And like, my eating disorder is like, everything I eat, everything I eat is, turns into a form of pizza. <laughs> you know, like, if you, that, that eating disorder is called autism. <laughs> um, if you take anything away from this set, tortilla chips, pizza sauce, mozzarella cheese, toppings, it's called pizzachos, and it works. <laughs> Turns out, right before I had ghosted them, I had gotten him uh, pregnant, which is not on a lot of people's steps to becoming a man. Uh, so it was. There's something about going by the they, them pronouns that really makes you not want to have multiple souls in your body. That's a good joke. You guys are being weird. <laughs> That's a good joke, Orlando. Or whatever part of Orlando you guys are. Um, no, but like, uh, don't, don't worry, don't worry. Like, God killed it. Um, yeah, this isn't, we didn't have to, this isn't controversial, we didn't have to go to an appointment, like nothing, I think, this God, um, you know, he's the father and I'm not. <laughs> when, when, when God, when God gives your ex a miscarriage, that's not plan B, that's plan alpha and omega. <laughs> yeah, that's when I found out about it, by the way, at the miscarriage stage, that's when you want to find out that your ex was pregnant. It's a lot better than finding out your ex is pregnant. You know, like finding your ex is pregnant is like, oh god, Dad, someone sideswiped my car. Or it's just like, oh god, it's real. <laughs> um, no, it's like it's like a miracle, you know. It's like it's like you know the immaculate conception. That's a miracle. It's like that, but reversed. <laughs> it's like a highly immaculate failed conception. <laughs> you know. Um, Okay. Yeah. So I found out about it when they uh, when they slid a little note about a couple of updates, and it was like, hey, uh, it when the Lord turned your son into pudding, it cost two hundred dollars at the hospital. I'm like, oh, you should have ran a credit check. <laughs> like I can't afford to have this not kid, you know. Uh, I'm going to pay him back, or otherwise God's going to stop doing me solids. But uh, I'm not the kind of guy who has $200. You know, I'm the kind of guy who has pizzachos. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, like, I was just thinking about it, and like, for a while, at first it was upsetting, but then there's sort of like a, a beautiful symmetry to the whole thing, you know? Because, like, I had ghosted my ex because of their eating disorder, and my son probably also ghosted. Anyway, um, okay, you guys aren't. You guys, so you guys. I say, I say, my son, because uh, uh, I don't know. We didn't check, uh, but I figure when two men have a kid, it's got to be a guy, right? You know? <laughs> like eventually. Um, but like, you guys aren't the target audience for this joke. I'm practicing so that I can tell it to him when I sneak into Christian heaven uh, after I marry a woman right at the end. <laughs> Alright, uh, you guys have a great night. Happy Christmas.